One of the many ways that you can monetize your expertise and skills online is by offering one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do just that using my favorite marketing and sales tool, Kartra. That means you're going to learn how to set up a coaching product and how to set up the calendar feature so that your clients can automatically book in their call time without any back and forth emails. And I'm also gonna show you how you can put a coaching offer inside of your online course. So the very first thing you need to do is set up a coaching product in Kartra. So what you're gonna do is click sales products, then click the plus sign top right, and you're going to add in a name. So I'm gonna call this coaching call. This, you want it to be your main product. And then you'll see that there's a ton of different product types that you can sell through Kartra. For coaching specifically, just check others and hit create. Now, there are actually lots of different ways that you could sell one on one coaching. I'm going to show you the way that I do it and recommend you set it up as well. So the first thing you'll do is add your product details. So rather than just having the description be coaching call, you could explain a bit more of what it is. So, for example, strategy call for your business. OK, you'll do something better than that. And then if you click right here, you can add an image or logo for your call. All right, so I'm just going to add a simple image like this. You can choose exactly where on the image I want to crop in. And then you can keep this as no, keep it private and hit save. Next, you need to connect your payment processor. So Kartra connects with a few different ones like Stripe and PayPal. And so here is where you would do that. So you're just going to hit change. And then you're going to connect your PayPal and you can do your Stripe account as well. So I'm going to hit save there and I'm also going to turn off demo mode for this product. Next, you're going to go over to pricing and you're going to set what your price is going to be. So, for example, I'm going to do regular price and I'm going to decide that this is $300, for example. OK, then you don't need to worry about shipping. You may need to configure sales tax depending on your situation. And then if you have a refund policy, so since this one's going to include your time, I would do a no refund. Then you'll see that we have pages. We're actually going to come back to this, then go over to checkout. OK, so I'm going to hit change when we get to checkout design. Now, what is really cool is this is going to very quickly create a checkout page for you and you can just send people to this page directly. So I'm going to go down here choose whichever checkout page design that I like and then I'm going to change the colors to mine. So for example, I'm going to change all the buttons there to yellow. Then you can determine whether you want to show your logo at the top of your checkout page or not. I'm just going to leave that off for now. And then you could add a help desk to this page as well, but I'm just going to go through. I'm going to skip over a few fields that you don't need to worry about for now. OK, so next we get to checkout form fields. I always I don't ask for the full address or city and postal code. All I need to know for my records is first and last name, email and country and state. So I'm going to hit save there. All of this you can leave as is. If you have terms and conditions, you would just add this here at this point. OK, and you can paste that in there and they would then need to check and agree to that at purchase. Then we have post sale. The way I do it is that when someone purchases a product for me, I add them to my core email list and then I tag them specifically for that product. So I'm going to click yes, tag customers, and then I'm going to create a new tag called coaching call. OK, I'm going to give it a color. You can categorize this and then hit create. So we need to add this where if somebody purchases a price point one, they're going to get that tag of coaching call. Then you can leave everything else blank. All right. So you're then going to go ahead and publish your product. So now if you go over to links, you'll see link to your checkout. So if we open this in a new tab, you'll see a very simple checkout form that you could just send people directly to. So they'll enter in their information here and then on the next step, they'll enter in their payment information. So that's one option where you can send them straight to a checkout page like that. Or if you'd like, you could create more of a page like this. I didn't even do a super long sales page or anything because I'm really only offering this to people that I'm working with in some capacity already. So that's why mine is so small and to the point. But if you wanted, you could do more of a mini sales page for your coaching. Then all people need to do is hit book call. And then it's going to open up a pop up window where they can pay for that. So it's just like a bit nicer with more details. But you'll see that we sort of skipped over the pages part. So let's make sure that we go ahead and update that. 
So before we do that, we need to go into pages and create a thank you page. So this is what people will see immediately after they purchase. So for example, something super simple like this. So in order to create that, you're just going to click on the plus sign to create a page. Then you're going to title this coaching call. And I always just do TY for thank you. And then you can go over to page type, select thank you pages and choose any one of these designs here. I have another video where I show you how to use the Kartra page builder. So I will link to that down below. But on the product level, the main thing we need to do is make sure that the thank you page is connected to the product. So go over to pages, go to thank you page, and you're just going to change this to that thank you page. So now we know that as soon as somebody purchases, that is the page that they're going to see. Now we need to set up your calendar so that people can automatically book in a call with you. For this, you are going to go over to events and then calendars. Hit the plus sign to add a calendar and title this coaching call. So you're going to select the consultant calendar type. And then the first step is schedule. So let's go ahead and hit change there. And you'll see an area to add in your description. Okay, then you're going to choose the duration. By default, it should default you as the host. And then you're going to be able to choose your available days. So for example, let's X out of those. I'm going to say that I'm available every Thursday. And then I'm going to choose a few specific start times that I could fit into my calendar. So for example, okay, I could do 11, noon, one, and two, for example. So those are going to be the only times available on my calendar. And then if you come down here, we have number of sessions. So we're going to leave that. And then we have minimum and maximum booking notice. So you are going to want to set this. For example, I don't allow bookings for today or tomorrow just so that I don't miss anything. Okay, And you could set this where, OK, only bookings for this month and the next one. Nothing beyond that point. And then you can block specific dates. So for example, if you realize on May 15th, you're going to be busy, you can't do any calls, just come in here, select that, hit add, and it will no longer be an option. Then go over to sync. So what we wanna do is turn this on. So if you end up having different classes and calendars, we wanna make sure that this is synced across all of those. So I'd recommend just turning that on. And then you want to sync with your Google Calendar. So this way, if you add an event in Google Calendar, then it will automatically take that off as an option inside of the calendar. So you can turn that on to sync and then choose your integration. And if you haven't done this yet, then you can connect your Google Calendar there. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And then you want to choose your meeting room. So hit change. And then yes, add meeting room. So what this will do is it will automatically generate a Zoom or Google Meet meeting for you. So you don't have to go into Zoom and then set that up. So I use Zoom for all of these calls. So I'm just going to select my Zoom account. So if someone books in through Kartra, when I open up Zoom, the meeting is already there and scheduled with its own unique Zoom link created. So it's really convenient. Okay, next go over to design and you can change the look and feel of this. This is gonna display my logo at the top. And then of course I can add my custom yellow. Then we get to registration. So the way that I do this is I keep it as free on this level because we already have our product set up and we're handling the purchase first and then we're sending them to the calendar. So just leave that is, leave that as free. Definitely leave it so that they can book in their own time zone. Then go over to success, hit change. Okay, so here's what mine looks like. I have congratulations. Your call has been successfully booked and just letting people know that the booking details have been sent to their inbox. So once they book their call, this is what they will see. So you're going to customize that, then go over to emails and you want to set this up so that all of the reminder emails are taken care of. You know that they're being sent out automatically and you don't have to worry about that. So right now you'll see that I have a booking confirmation set up. So I have a confirmation email as well as three reminder emails configured. So let me show you what the confirmation email looks like. So all you have to do is check yes, send a booking confirmation, hit the little pencil icon to edit this email and you'll see your strategy call is confirmed. Now Kartra will already provide a lot of this email for you. So you're just actually gonna come in here and just like customize it, sign it with your name, but you'll see text like this, calendar, meeting room, and in brackets. That means that it is going to automatically fill in with the correct link for this client. You wanna be very careful not to really touch those. Same with the first name, it's gonna automatically fill that in. 
And then let me show you what the email reminders look like. So I have a few. I have one week before the session. I also do eight hours before the session and one hour before as well. But you can customize this however you want. As you can see, you can check new reminder to add some new ones. It's a very simple email, but it will ensure that people don't miss their call. All right, next under permissions, you'll see that I have it where users can cancel their session. So if we go here, that's an option if they need to. And I have instant approval on these calls. Because I have my calendar synced and I have the specific days where I'm available for calls, that's in here. So I'm fine to instantly approve any bookings that come in, okay? But if needed, you could set this to manual approval. Okay, then we have automations, but I don't need any at this point. And that's pretty much all I need. The only final thing you're going to want to do is come up here to the link for your calendar, hit the pencil icon and pencil icon again, and you're likely going to want to customize this. So as you can see, I did here strategy call Louise, but you could do just call coaching call, whatever is easiest. So if we open this up, this is what the calendar booking page looks like. So they would just come in here, choose a date that works for them and a time. Great. Hit next, put in their first name, last name to register for that. And as you can see, we have that confirmation note and we can add that to my calendar. And because we just booked in that call, we received this confirmation email right here. And now if I go into Zoom, you'll see that that strategy call is already right there within my Zoom calendar and the meeting room has been created. So yeah, really nice and seamless. Okay, so the final step is we need to connect this together. So the one thing you need to do is copy that link for your calendar booking. Then you're going to go to marketing and sequences and create a new sequence. Then this is really simple. You're just going to hit the plus sign, select order, and choose your product. So if someone purchases the coaching call at any price point, then I want to send an email. So you go over here to send email, drop that in, and then you can confirm this, like call booked, for example. Okay, you can choose any of these templates or you can just start with a blank email, go to edit and edit your message. And then you would say something like, here's the link to book in your call time. And then what's really important is that you have that link for your calendar. You can just paste that in right here. Okay, so the flow is like this. Someone will go to this page here, or a simple checkout page like this, and they will purchase a call with you. Then they will see a thank you page like this and receive this email that we're working on now. So for example, booking confirmed, can't wait, and here's the link so that you can book in your call time. Okay, so we're going to save that. And all you need to do to make sure that this part works is you need to hover over it and hit activate and drag your mouse like this to connect the two. Then the person will go to this page here to book in their specific call time and automatically receive all of those reminder emails. And that's it. So that is how you sell your one-on-one -on -one coaching online and use the calendar feature in Kartra. Now, one thing that's really cool is that you can add this as an offer inside of your online course. So once someone is inside your online course, there's a ton of ways that you can continue to support and work with them. So here's a demo course area. If I wanted to add my one-on-one -on -one coaching offer to it, all I need to do is go over to the left sidebar and scroll down to checkout form. So if we go over here and we drag that into our lesson, you'll see that we can add a purchase button right inside of our course. So for example, I'm gonna customize my button and then choose that coaching call offer and price point and hit save. Okay, so above this button, I would add more details about what this is and how it can support people. And then for your student's perspective, this is what they would see and they can just go ahead, click the button right here and book a call directly within your course. And if you want to change the color of this button, you totally can. Just go back into your product settings, go to checkout, change the checkout design, and just make sure that if you click overlay pop-up, you've customized this color as well. So as you can see, that's why it's blue here. So I'm gonna change that to yellow and that will update that button color. So yeah, super easy for both you and your students. All right, so that is how you set up one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting in Kartra. I hope this allows you to set up another income stream in your business and make tons of money online. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you real soon with another video.